hello, hello, and welcome back, my beautiful moon and stars. This is your girl, Starlight. Let your light shine. And for today's video, I want to talk about three signs that someone is using you. I know it sucks to be used. It's not fun, but we're going to get into it today. Three signs. There's so many more signs. Honestly, you can look it up, but these are three of them that I feel that are like three big indicators that someone is using you. You know, they don't really care about you. They don't care about your well-being. <laughs> They're just trying to get something from you. They're using you for whatever it is they want, whether it's your energy, your time, money, you know, um, the abundance that's in your life, you know, certain things that you have in your life that they want, that they see that they can take fairly, fairly easily, especially if you're close to these people. And that's why they get close to you, planning out what it is they're trying to take from you, like in their head they're doing it, right? But you don't really see it, but that's why you gotta be within. You gotta know yourself, have discernment, have, you know, listen to that God-given intuition. They're not good. You'll feel it, you know what I mean? Especially if you're a chosen one, you know, you're gonna feel it within, and especially if you worked on yourself, you healed, all that good stuff, you guys will see it. Three signs, let's get right into it, guys. Sign one, someone is using you. They're all about them. Everything has to kind of like revolve around them. Like, doesn't matter where you go. It's like, they just feel entitled to everything. You know, even like the little things, like big things, it doesn't matter, dude. Like, these people just think they're like the king and the queen. It's okay to like, you know, treat yourself like a king and a queen, but like still be humble, you know what I mean? But like, these people just ain't humble, you know? Especially if they're trying to use you. They're all about themselves. They just talk about themselves. They talk about their issues. You know, they don't want to talk about your issues, you know, especially, you know, here's an example. If someone's talking about the relationship going to crap or whatever, I don't know, like they're having issues with their partner. Let's say like you're single, right? <laughs> so you're the single one, you're the single chosen one, right? And then your friend over here is like, you know, dating someone. Their, their relationship is on the rocks, right? They're having issues, fighting, blah, blah, blah. So they're talking about that and you're like helping them you know what i mean like we want to help people we want to give people advice it's really interesting but yet when you try to go to them for advice or to get like their two cents you know maybe they might tell you one or two things but they won't really genuinely help you the way that you help them if that makes sense right it's kind of weird it's very twisted you know these people these users energy vampires whatever you want to call them narcs you know most of them are narcs <laughs> You know, they just kind of take your energy. That's really about it. They just take, they do take your advice. But again, also, this is another little extra one. They don't really listen to you. <laughs> it's like you give them like really good advice, right? And then they don't take it. They just kind of do what it is they want to freaking do. It's like, why didn't you take my advice? Like I gave it, that was actually really good advice. But maybe they kind of twisted it or they they made it their own way it, you know they're, they're kind of selfish people like they're i don't know clearly they're selfish because they're just taken from you they're using you like geez you know what i mean very selfish in the visual <laughs> stay clear away from these people guys <laughs> but there's a lot of them out there you know what i mean whether it is they just come into your life for a season and then they just dip and they get what they want and then that's it right but yeah you know they're all about themselves you know still on sign one all about themselves they're not genuinely interested in what you have to say you know even your problems you know what i mean like let's say you're having you know dating issues and you know you want you know like i said you want to get their advice but they don't want to give it to you they don't really genuinely listen to you they don't hear you like they look at you but like let's say they're on their phone as you're trying to talk to them really effed up <laughs> not nice at all so yeah Getting into sign two. So sign two that someone is using you guys is they want to borrow money. You know, this is a big one for a lot of people. You know, I know it's very, you know, general, <laughs> but people do borrow money from people and they use people for money. You know what I mean? Just to get their dough and just to get, like they're nice to you to get what they want, right? And people are nice to you to get money you know let's say like you are very a generous person and you give them money you know every now and then or you've given them money in the past and like they just keep coming to you for that money and they like they treat you nice and they're nice and sweet and kind to you they like give you compliments you know what i mean they like they hang out with you they they actually like show that they're interested in your life and 
they show like a genuine side. No, it's not. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> They're just getting money from you because it's like money. That's a big thing because you know that that creates stability. That that creates security within us, right? In our life, clearly to like survive and strive and thrive. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we need that abundance. We need that money to survive. You know what I mean? To live a, an abundant, beautiful, awesome life, right? And to create that security and if we don't really have that abundance we're gonna be poor <laughs> you know we're gonna be on the street you know what i mean like not have clean water to drink like we're gonna be like super skinny and like not healthy and not you know not going to the doctor not getting checked up on you know what i mean like it's not good <laughs> when you don't have that money in abundance right so that's why people you know add a little bit more extra like especially when they're using you to get that money from you they're a little bit more nicer to you right they're more nicer to you. They talk to you more. They show more interest in, in your life. And you're like, oh, wow, this is a really good friend, you know? And like, let's say they're struggling, but it's like, they're really not. They just like want that extra money from you, that extra cash, you know? And then you give them money and let's say, you know, like you, they borrowed it from you guys. But of course, if you're very generous, you're like, no, it's fine. You can just pay me back in some other way or take me out to eat or, you know, or just, you know, pay me back when you can, right? but you never get the money back. You never get the money back from them. You don't really hear from them, like hardly at all. <laughs> like, especially after you give them the money, you know what I mean? Like one day they're just gonna probably stop talking to you. Or even if it's like a first time, you know, like let's say it's the first time you're giving them money, right? And then they just kind of like dip out. And it was like a lot of money. It was like maybe like a hundred bucks. hundred dollars is still a lot, you know what I mean? You can go very far, right? <laughs> That's like grocery money, gas money, right? But yeah, hundred bucks, two hundred, whatever. Like that's quite a bit, and it's like <laughs> they can't. You know what I mean? They can't give you that back. Like with the flip, especially if you know they have a job, like a pretty good job. Like they don't really go out that much. You know what I mean? Or you know maybe they maybe they do. Maybe they spend their money recklessly, but they still make that money back. And they're like, oh, I'll promise. I promise. I'll I'll get back to you. You know what I mean? I'll pay you back, right? And they just kind of borrow that money, but then in a sense, they just took it and you just never hear back from them. They just like literally use you for money. <laughs> like that's messed up. I mean, I feel like that's a very obvious one. A lot of people can see that like, yo, I just got used. I just got like, my money just got like taken from me from like a friend. I thought they were my friend. No. And that's where like issues happen and they say that they paid you back and like, you know what I mean? And like, they never did. That's kind of a gaslighting situation there. That's what a narc would do. They'd be like, oh no, I paid you back. Remember? It's like, what the flip? No, you didn't. It's like, yeah, I did. It's like, what? When? You know what I mean? Gaslighting, disgusting. Anyway, so sign three. <laughs> so when this person asks you for really big, super huge favors, you know, maybe it's not even that big, but like really big favors and you do it for them and it, you're actually going out of your way doing it for them. <laughs> and it took a lot of effort and energy for you to do whatever the favor was and you do it for them because you're a good, kind hearted person, you know, and you want to, let's say, you know, a lot of us, we are people pleasers, right? But it's like, we just, we genuinely want to help, right? And you're helping this person because they're a so-called good friend, right? But this is how you know someone's using you. When they ask you for a big favor, you do it for them, right? You put a lot of effort into it. And then you go and you're like, wow, they're a great friend. I need this done or I need a, you know, I need this, whatever. And it's like, hey, can you, <laughs> can you get me this or whatever, you know, like maybe something from the store or can you do me this favor? Can you drop this off for me really quick? You know what I mean? And it's like literally on the way to wherever they're going. Like you ask for like the tiniest like favor, like it's not gonna take like much effort at all. But yet yours took an immense amount of energy and effort, right? Whatever it was, you know? But this person that's using you, when you ask for your favor to be done by them, they like blow it out of proportion, right? They're like, you know what? You owe me big time. They start making you feel guilty for even asking. That's <laughs> that's a very narcissistic thing, by the way. A lot of narcs do that. It happened with me in my last relationship. That person was a lot like that with me. And that's why I'm speaking about this today to you guys. So you guys can recognize it. It's a red flag. It's bad. No. Bad juju, right? Get away from that. 
But yeah, they make you feel guilty for asking for the freaking favor, even though last week you did a bigger favor for them. Isn't that messed up? Like, what the flip? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Boy, are you tripping. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> we don't play that game. That's messed up, you know? And if you're a smart person, you will recognize that and be like, no, I did you this favor. I did this for you last week and now you're tripping over you know what i mean but a lot of people brush it to a side because they're like no they're a good friend they're just being silly they're not over no they're being serious they or they are going to expect you to do something even bigger next time or a bigger favor for them you know it's really messed up and it's messed up how they make you feel guilty if they over exaggerate it they over exaggerate that little tiny favor that you just asked you know, and it's like they'll, they'll like text you, you know, they'll kind of like maybe play it off like, oh, it's funny, it's a joke. But no, they're serious, you know what I mean? And then like when you hang out with them again, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, so are you going to take me out to like this restaurant or something like that? Or like, oh, you owe me big time. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I thought you were going to take me out to like this nice restaurant for me, for me doing that tiny little favor for you. And it's like an expensive bougie restaurant. Like what the flip? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Just to pay them back for that time? No, that's, we don't do that. They'll feel it, right? Hey guys, hope you guys enjoy that video. I will see you guys next time. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Please take care of yourself, love yourself, and as always, catch you later. <laughs> Bye.